Today's topic is how to determine the furnace belt specification. And this is sometimes called the mesh count. The first number in the belt specification is the number of spirals that occur across the belt, perpendicular to belt travel, across the belt in 12 inches. And you get that number simply by counting the spirals as they exist. Lay a tape down on the belt. Start with the spiral at the outermost edge of the belt. Count that as one. And then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So the first number in the specification for this belt is the number 36. Then, to determine the next number, we're going to count the cross rods. And the cross rods, as you know, are these wires, it's the same wire which the belt is made from, but they're the other wires that exist perpendicularly in the belt that the spirals are wound around that connect the belt together. So there's going to be a number of spirals per 12 inches, a number of cross rods per 12 inches. The first number of the specs, the number of spirals across 12 inches. The second number is the number of cross rods that occur in 12 inches longitudinally. Again, put the tape at the end of the belt, start counting, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So the second number of the belt specification after the 36 is the number 21. The third number, the belt specs all have three numbers, and the wire that we measured earlier was 0.08 inches, and that is 12 American wire gauge. So then the entire spec for the belt the three numbers put together for this particular belt, 36, the number of spirals across 12 inches, 21, the number of cross rods, longitudinally in 12 inches, and 12, the wire gauge. So 36, 21, 12 is the spec by which that belt is known.